So what is the best pet and spec for us to take on our journey to level 60? Well, 50 to 60, there's a couple different options. First of all, when it comes to what leveling spec, and this is the build I'm gonna go with on screen right now. Now taking a look at the spec we wanna run in our 50 to 60 journey, we're likely gonna to wanna to go deep survival. This is what we're gonna be running at max level anyway, because our trap build got a lot of love in the updates in phase four we're definitely gonna to wanna to go ahead and spec in to make those traps more powerful. So to do that, no better tree to go into than survival. Something that's gonna be really nice while we're leveling is entrapment. We can set up our own kind of AOE. It's just gonna be slowing your enemy. You can just keep popping down frost trap and be able to keep slowing them as you're kiting. And this is just gonna keep locking them in place while you're just bombarding them with your your explosive traps and all that kind of stuff. It's a really fun play style. And this kind of makes it a lot easier in the open world to just continue to trap those enemies as you go. If we look at kind of the deep reaching talents that we want to get to, like lightning reflexes, obviously just 15% bonus agility is fantastic. Of course, a lot of our damage is going to be coming from traps and we want to make sure that they're not resisting our effects of traps and we want to make sure that they're hitting. In fact, we'll talk about more about how we're actually specking into doing fire damage once we get to the runes. But if we look over in the marksmanship tree, this is going to be kind of our dip over tree. We're, of course, wanting to reach down into mortal shots. Mortal shots, that 30% bonus critical damage is so fantastic. I did want to mention one variation. There's kind of a one point wonder. Um, if you wanted to grab one point into improved aspect of the hawk, I would consider taking this if you're going to be doing a lot of dungeons, you're going to be doing a lot of sustained fights, fighting something for a long period of time. This proc based talent, it's you're not going to get a whole lot of value out of it because by the time it procs while you're fighting monsters out in the wild, you're walking to your next mob. So you're probably not going to want to take this if you're doing a lot of uh, world leveling. This is more of a sustained damage thing. We get more value out of this. Let's talk about runes really quick. On the topic of runes, whether you haven't collected all your runes yet or you're leveling up your character trying to get to the last leg of this sod journey, level 50 to 60, there's a great add-on for you to take advantage of called Rested XP. Rested XP is an add-on made by speed runners, the top speed runners in the game. And it's all about getting you from level one to 60 as fast as possible. They route your entire your path they show you every quest you want to do and with sod they show you every rune that you would want to collect along the way and the best part is it's free all the way up until level 20 so you can try it out if you think you might like it and if you like the add-on and decide to get it for yourself you can support the channel by using the link below so what runes do we want to take there are some familiar runes here for our leveling build like lock and load we're weaving in a bunch of traps so we definitely want to go ahead and take advantage of this and then our, our new rune or as soon as we find resourceful this is the best back rune by far, in my opinion. It's just, it's so wonderful. There are two runes in particular I want to talk about for players who are geared. Um, if you're very geared, you might not need to run Master Marksman as much. If you're killing things from range and you're not going to be running a pet anyway because you're just doing an insane amount of damage, just double dip into that with Lone Wolf. If you're killing things at range as it approaches you because you're just that geared, then go ahead and spec into this so you don't even have to worry about a pet pet at all. Although if you're like me and you haven't been playing a whole lot of phase three, then uh, you might want to go ahead and pick up Master Marksman. It's going to be a little bit better for you in that regard, especially now that we have, for anyone that didn't know, Aspect of the Lion is now baseline. You can just learn it and then you have it available to you as just another aspect you can turn on. Beast Mastery, same thing goes for this. This is going to be more players that aren't as geared. If you're like me and you just aren't as geared, you do want to run Beast Mastery. This is going to help your pet just kind of hold aggro and kind of frontline tank for you. If you are super geared though, then you can go ahead and run Chimera Shot. Chimera Shot just does an insane amount of damage. It's definitely going to be your best option if you are just doing a crap ton of damage yourself. Oh, and then a new rune for anyone that wasn't aware of it. We do have kill shot available to us now. We're going to be moving around a lot. So sniper training is not the one we want to take for now. Um, but at max level, we'll definitely go back into sniper training because it makes our aim shot instant. And that is just you get a lot of value out of sniper training. But kill shot for while we're leveling, that's just going to give us extra burst on killing things off. And it resets the cooldown if we use it on something as an execute. Now... Let's talk about fire specialization. We have fire specialization. It's going to be useful for us because we're getting a lot of value and damage out of explosive trap. And that is going to be fire damage. And this is going to have uh, improved hit, which is great. Uh, getting improved hit is fantastic. And also, of course, 
we're going ranged weapon specialization because this is a ranged build. Now let's talk pets. There's a couple of different considerations for what pet you want to take. First of all, you can't ask for a better all-in-one package than an owl. Owls have a great damage scaling with a 1.07. Uh, it isn't as much as a cat as a 1.1 scaling, but you do also have a great amount of durability built into the bird itself because it does have a screech ability that's going to lower the attack power of the enemies around it. Also, it's kind of an AoE tank of sorts where it's able to hold build threat by using the screech ability even though it doesn't do damage it still does build threat on the enemies around it and you're able to fight more than one monster at a time this is really useful especially if you're working on pulling a bunch of mobs so that you can fight them all with your traps you can set up your own mobile aoe farm by using this thing now if you don't have an owl there's actually one that's pretty easy to grab you can just get it from fellwood Fellwood, you're gonna head over to this location on your map. I'll put the coordinates in the description and you're gonna grab an Iron Beak Owl. This is gonna be level 49 and it's gonna come with Screech and Claw. And so you can go ahead and just have your, your Owl already be close to your level as it is. Now this convenience is extended once you reach level 57 again because you can head over to Winter Spring and grab one of these Winter Spring Screechers. These are gonna be equipped with Screech 4 and also it's gonna have Claw 8 which is fantastic because you'd end up needing to train this anyway to be able to get the new ability for your future cat. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna be back to the cats once we reach level 60, unless we get a surprise pet added in, kind of like the core hound or the wyvern from phase one. We're gonna be sticking to cats at max level because it really hasn't changed since era. Cats have been the highest performer from back then and now it's no different. Only thing different with our spec moving at level 60s, we're probably gonna run it, we're probably going to run more of a trap centric build because we do get this new rune on our cloak that's going to really empower our traps a lot. I'll make a follow up guide on what we want to run at level 60 but because we're going to be able to hold aggro very well with using this empowered bird and if you're like me and took a break from phase three and you're coming in with a pretty low gear then uh, let your pet do the work. But for players like myself that didn't really play a whole lot in phase three the owl is going to be a great frontline option for you to be able to work your way through the level 50 to 60 content. Now, what do you think? Are you coming back for phase four in Season of Discovery? It's no secret that Season of Discovery has been a bit of an on a bit of a hiatus. Now I gotta know, are you gonna come back for phase four or are you just waiting for the war within? Personally, I'm gonna take a quick visit to Sod and then I am so stoked for the war within. If that's you as well, feel free to go ahead and put us up on this channel and stay tuned for some more war within content. I'm truly rooting for a season of discovery. I'd love to see it come back to the glory days of what it once was, but we'll have to see. All right, everyone, if the video did help you out today, please remember to check that like button. If you want to stay tuned for more WoW content in the future, please bash the subscribe. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye everyone.